Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. Today we are going to be building the greatest pickup truck of all time. I mean it's not going to be the best for towing, it's not going to be the most practical, it's not going to be the cheapest, it's not going to be the best looking, but it's going to be the best. Uh, just by virtue of having probably the most horsepower of any production pickup of all time. Currently, the record is held by the Dodge, or the Ram, I guess, the Ram T-Rex with 702 or so buff horses with a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. That's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. Uh, Ford is coming out with the next generation Raptor, and possibly a Raptor R with a 5.2 liter suspected supercharged V8 out of the Ford GT500 Mustang. That would have 760 or so horsepower, but no, 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 no. We can't lose to any of these mainstream manufacturers. We have to build our own and build it better. So what we're doing, we're building this pickup truck, we're going to supercharge it in BeamNG using J-Beam Editing, uh, and we're going to drive this thing and compare it to some other vehicles in BeamNG Drive. So, first off, what panel material do we want for our Ford Raptor R slash uh, Ram T-Rex competitor? It's going to have partial aluminum panels for now. We could switch to steel, maybe, if the car ends up being actually too light. I want this thing to be a reasonable weight. Now, the uh, the current Ford Raptor is around 6,000 pounds, and the Ram T-Rex is like 6,800 pounds, so they're, they're insanely heavy boats. The Ram is almost 7,000 pounds, which is crazy for, you know, a, a modest-sized American pickup truck. Uh, ladder chassis, steel chassis material. We could go for corrosion-resistant, but that doesn't really do anything. Uh, Front-mounted longitudinal. We could either make this thing a street truck or like an off-road truck like the uh, Ram T-Rex or the Raptor. And I think it'll be a little bit off-roady because street trucks are kind of, you know, it's, it's weird. Why, do, why does a, a sport truck, why did the Ford Lightning exist, you know? Why would you make a, a truck sporty in the track? Because it's, it's just too big and too heavy. Uh, coils front and rear, that's kind of sporty but also off-roady. Not, it's, that's not really sporty actually, it's just off-roady. Uh, V8 engine obviously. Uh, 90 degree V8 engine, aluminum, dual inverted cam, four valve, aluminum. This is going to be a Maven branded vehicle. A and Maven is similar to Ford and, and Chevrolet. Uh, they like to use some modern tech. I mean, I think Ford only uses dual inverted cam, four valve in their V8s, whereas Dodge and Chevrolet use push rods. But that's 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 fine. Uh, we're going to go for a, a bit bigger of a V8. It's going to be, I think, like a, a 6 liter, a 6.1 6 liter, maybe? A 6 liter? 6 liter supercharged sounds reasonable. 6 liter supercharged 4 valve V8. So the Mustang GT500 must the GT500 Mustang. It's got 5.2 liters, and then the and that's dual inverted cam 4 valve. So ours is a bit bigger. And Dodge of course uses a 6.2 liter push rod engine, which is pretty crazy. Uh, VVT all cams. We'll leave the bottom end all forged. Uh, we'll leave the compression and cam profile default to start. We're not going to turbocharge this thing because we're just going to supercharge it and beam in G drive. Uh, injection direct. Twin performance and premium, I'm thinking. That sounds like a reasonable thing. Leave this all for now because we'll tune it after. Long tube headers, dual exhaust, high flow three-way cat because we need a catalytic converter. It's a realistic, in quotations, car. Um, go for like baffled exhaust into straight through. That sounds like a reasonable thing. So right now we can rev a bit higher to 7,000, which is pretty actually wild. And this thing is going to be supercharged in Beam and G. So what does that mean? In automation, we're going to leave it naturally aspirated, no turbos. It's going to have less horsepower probably than what we want. Uh, but we'll supercharge it in Beam and G uh, and make it have a, a more competitive horsepower amount. Well, that's fine to start off. We might tweak it a bit more. Um, 6 liters. NA is 475 horse. Pretty impressive. Uh, but supercharged, we're going to go for 800 horsepower or so. Uh, and we'll see it, of course, in the Beam and G part. Now we're using this body. We're not using the two-door. That'd be a interesting. It's a pretty big two-door. We're using the four-door body because I like the full-sized four-door trucks. That's what mostly they make nowadays. You can move this over a little bit, make this a little bit longer, so it's a pretty even four-door size. It's a little small in the four doors, but that's that's probably okay. Now th this body uh, kind of reminds me of the old Chevrolet Avalanche with this um, like C pillar kind of what is this like a bed rails or something like that? I don't really know what they're called, but yeah, it, it's got that. And I, I kind of like that. I always loved the Chevy Avalanche. That thing I think had a seven-liter V8 actually is an option. Even uh, we can make the wheel wells flared out a little. We can flare it out just a little bit. Just oh no, we can't really do a little bit. No. Is it all or nothing? I don't want to do all. Oh, we can do a little bit? I like that. Just a little bit for now is fine. Uh, Four-wheel drive, obviously. Advanced automatic. We'll go for a nine-speed. You know what? Uh, Dodge has, or the Ram has the eight-speed, and the Ford Raptor has the current ten-speed, so we'll go for a nine-speed. We'll go in between them. Um, locking differential, automatic locking diff. Does that sound reasonable? Kind of. Not really. It's fine. That's fine. Top speed. 
Uh, I think we're going to limit it electronically to like 180 because these things aren't very good for top speed. Off-road tires. We'll go for 300 and... What? 325s front and rear? I think, the, I think the Ram has 325s. You know, we'll go for 335s front and rear. That's what the Ram has. So we'll go for 37-inch diameter tires, which is absolutely massive. We'll go for 21-inch wheels. Maybe even 20s. Now we'll go for 21-inch wheels. Uh, yeah, these are pretty large. Pretty large. Alloy, obviously, because this is 2020 after all. Vented discs, six piston probably, just big honking vented discs, and four pistons in the rear. Uh, we want off-road skid tray. Yeah, this will be an off-road-ish vehicle. And we'll go for a, uh, not a two-seater, we'll go for a five-seater premium interior in a premium heads-up display. HUD, yeah, we'll go for that. Electric variable power steering, because that sounds like a 2020 feature. And all the, the bells and whistles of a, a top-class expensive vehicle would have, like safety, etc. You need safety. That's probably a, a must-have for any car. Uh, we'll go for just progressive, semi-active, and off-road. Just, just, just like, fancy. We can go for air suspension, actually. I think we'll go for air suspension. That's kind of, that's kind of quirky. Having, like, air suspension, I think it's kind of quirky. You know, Maven does quirky things. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. And we can raise the ride height a little bit more before we look at the stats. That's a pretty tall vehicle, if I do say so myself. That's massive. That thing's huge. So specs, let's look at him. Weighs in at 6,300 pounds. Bit heavier than the Raptor. Bit lighter than the T-Rex. Uh, it is 475 force. Not bad. Now, what's the 0 to 60, you know, without tuning here? The 0 to 100 is 7.9. Yikes, that's uh, only 48 grand. We are not supercharged, though. We're turbo. So I'm going to increase the quality because this thing is going to be a little more expensive. Uh, what's top speed? We can take this thing to 265 kilometers an hour. That sounds a little bit... That sounds a little excessive if you ask me, but that's that's reasonable, I'd say. It will increase the brake quality as well. So what we're going to do now is design the car. I'll tweak the engine a bit more, but it's going to be supercharged in beam and G with about 800 or so horsepower. We'll see, of course, there. I'll design the car. I'll go over the design real quick. We'll hop into beam and G, supercharge it, and see how this thing drives. So sit back, relax, guys, and of course, I hope you enjoy. And finally, we are starting the design for my Maven off-road super pickup truck thingamajigger. Uh, it's going to have this V-shaped Maven front grille with these sort of horizontal rectangle headlights. Um, what I'm not too sure, though, is how we're going to do the front bottom fascia, like the skid plate, etc. Uh, so far, I have this giant skid plate area uh, with these weird-shaped vents just above it. Um, so we're going to have maybe some fog lamps or something in the vents. I'm thinking that we're going to have something else in the bottom area. I do have these vertical bars to the front main grille and start adding some more details to the front headlights, etc. to actually fill them in, adding these sort of four figure eight sort of shaped pieces and whatnot, adding a bit more details to the bottom uh, under the headlights, to the secondary headlight housing, where we're going to have two more projectors or just one projector, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, adding a bit more detail here, they're adding a Maven badge, so we're having the M-A-V-E-N of Maven in big gloss white lettering for it now. Uh, working on the front skid plate, I'm not too sure exactly what we're doing again for this. We're just sort of making it up as we go. Uh, there was no really design theme. I was just looking at Ford, looking at Dodge, looking at Chevy, and just seeing what they did. I think something a bit different but similar. Having a big out sticking a bumper um, with a bit of grills and stuff in the front end. Wipers and a sunroof are up next. They're adding a, a B pillar to the truck because I think it was looking weird with it missing. Uh, doing some headlight details, making the turn signals actually work. Adding some details to the bottom front fascia. And then a key pan to the side uh, doors. And then some, I guess, running boards on the side is what they're called, maybe. Uh, changing the color to this bright green and changing the front text to green as well. Taillights, the back end overall is quite simple. Having these interesting shaped taillights with a bar going across, which I think is actually imperfect and I will, I, I could edit it at some point, but it's fine, it's fine. The taillights are going to be this sort of C shape, uh, so it sort of pushes into this bar that goes across. Uh, adding a big old rear bumper uh, with some more detail and some exhaust tips. Adding a bit more detail to the rear tailgate with some mayhem badging and some other few things here and there. And finally in front of us is the 2020 Maven Maxim Mayhem.
All right, guys, like I said, this is the all-new, the Maven Maxim Mayhem, and it's kind of a mouthful to say, uh, so from now on, I'll just say the Mayhem. Uh, this truck does have some similarities to a previous Maven vehicle that I made, the Maven RMX, a three-cylinder muscle car. Uh, that thing has a very similar front end. The side intakes and the bottom grille are completely changed, but the, the main shape is, is very similar. Um, so my truck, it's got the Maven logo all the way across the front grille here in bright green, because why not? we got these three lights here, because you have to have those for uh, very wide trucks. It's got these sort of rectangular-shaped uh, headlight housings, different from the Maven RMX, which is like a little bit curved, uh, and a slightly more angled and angry looking. This is just straight across, uh, with these daytime running lights that sort of form an L shape that go down, uh, down the side. And we have these secondary lights right here, which that's that's not made properly, but just ignore that. Just just, just look at this, these lights. So the lights are down there. They are, I guess, auxiliary lights or some fog lamps or something. They look pretty cool. And it's kind of intricate um, running thing, bumper thing at the bottom. I don't know, running board bumper. I don't know, whatever it's called. Uh, and it houses, I guess, these little square places are probably where you pop them out and you have like maybe some tow hooks or something like that. Uh, a big old scoop on the top because this thing is going to be supercharged in BeamNG. A turret signal on, on the side, a very simple side, basically just have these, what are these, like, uh, running, these rails? What are they, I, I forget what things are called today, my gosh. Massive sunroof, because this 2020 baby, we need the future sunroofs. Uh, we have a simple back end with Maxim badging. Actually, I don't, I, don't, I don't like how this looks up here, actually, I think this should be changed. But we have Maxim, and we have the Mayhem right there, we got a dual exhaust outlet, we have a big bumper. Uh, and these C-shaped taillights. So overall, you know what, I'm pretty happy with the front end, the back end. I'd actually change a couple things, uh, but it's too late now. We're going to hop into Beam and G, uh, I think. I'm going to supercharge this bad boy. It's going to have over 800 horsepower. We'll see exactly in Beam and G. Uh, and we're going to do a drag race, and we'll do some other tests to see how this compares to other insane trucks. I'll see you guys in Beam and G Drive in just a second. Finally, we're here in Beam and G Drive with the Maven Mayhem. And actually, it looks really good in Beam and G. It looks pretty impressive. It, it doesn't look too bad, honestly. It doesn't Do the headlights work? Oh, man, they're blindingly bright. I don't know why the E is kind of yellow there, but that's just something we'll ignore. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. The taillights, I had to delete some of the fixtures, as you can tell, um, because they were scraping on the ground somehow. I'm not too sure how, but they were. Um, so anyways, the Mayhem badge is actually... Like an off-white color now, interesting as well. Uh, so the engine is NA, it's an actually aspirated V8 still. I did tune it a little bit in automation before we hopped into BMG, so it makes torque uh, lower down and a little less horsepower, etc. Uh, what we've got to do is supercharge this bad boy. And how do we supercharge an automation car in BMG? You might be wondering that. Well, I've made a tutorial, link for that is in the description of the video. Um, but what we're going to do, uh, long story short, is go to our vehicle config section here, or config, config, uh, click on the automation export of the engine, find the force induction, and add the supercharger. It's as easy as that. Uh, I have a link in the description again, guys, on how to do this. Uh, so now we go to our vehicle config again. We can go to tuning. We can tune do two different things. We can tune the gear ratio and the pressure per 1,000. So this is how much uh, boost pressure per 1,000 RPM. So if we go to 7,000 RPM, it's going to be 7.7 .7 PSI, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot actually but we make enough power the gear ratio is, is more than enough so that way we make a lot of power um the reason why we don't have tons of psi being pushed in a really high gear ratio or really insane gear ratio for supercharged cars because the sound uh it, it's not a perfect sounding supercharger it, it's got sound uh this engine right now makes about 900 about 900 or so horsepower uh, so what we're gonna say is this car is 888 horsepower. That's the market of the horsepower. I think it's a bit more than that, like 910 maybe, but 888 horsepower. I'm not sure why it makes it a peak RPM. That's a pretty aggressive, because I guess it gets more boost as you go on. It's not a perfect supercharger, like I said, um, but it's there. So it makes about 900 horsepower, which is absolutely monstrous for a 6,000 pound vehicle. Uh, and it makes an incredible, you know, also 900 or so newton meters. I'm not sure what that is in pound feet, but I'll, I'll have a number somewhere in the comments. I don't know. It, it, it's it's enough pound feet. It's like um, 600 pound feet of torque and like 900 horsepower. That's pretty impressive, I think. So what we're gonna do is do a zero to 60 test or a zero to 100 kilometer an hour test here on the on the top left, uh, just just to start off the day here. So we're gonna actually do it in rear wheel drive first, and then we'll do it in four wheel drive. So we can do a bit of a burnout here. Put it in manual one and just sort of go. No. No, we, we gotta start off neutral. Yeah, we have to start in neutral. Okay. It's a pretty cool setting. It just sounds pretty cool. Now, if we actually let off the the brake here, we'll actually start driving. 
3.6, which is pretty good. I think the Dodge or the Ram T-Rex gets about uh, 3.7, so we're, we're a little faster. We are lighter though. If we had better tires, of course, these tires are actually pretty bad in BMG. The brakes are already cooking themselves. 500 degrees Celsius. These are burning hot brakes. Uh, let's try one more time with four-wheel drive and just get a gist of what's happening. We'll do a quarter mile drag race as well. You'll notice the car, uh, before an automation, it was restricted to 180 kilometers an hour. Well, there's a glitch right now, so the speed limiter doesn't actually do anything. Um, so the car is geared to about 260, so they, there, there's no limiter basically in, in this game right now. It's only limited by gear ratio. That's kind of a glitch of the exported car, so we'll try one more time. And you'd think four-wheel drive is necessary, but it's actually not really. 3.5 right there again with four-wheel drive. That's kind of insane, honestly. The two-wheel drive does it super quick. I don't know how it does, but it just does. And it makes it pretty consistent. 800 horsepower uh, until it shifts. We'll break here again. I'll try to be a little bit... <laughs> it does not stop at all. But, on the plus side, this thing is also an off-road beast. That's, that's also a positive note. It likes to drift around corners a lot on, on paved services and off-road services. It just does everywhere, I guess. But it, it's a pretty impressive truck. I'll have a link to the vehicle down below in the description as always. But let's go for a bit of a drive around this track. This is just sort of a... We're not going to do any track laps or anything with this. We'll, we'll do a uh, comparison against a Beam and G trick shortly. But I just want to go for a quick lap. We'll see if this thing drives. We'll finish it off with, one, with an actual drag race. Go for a slight drive. It's not bad. It sounds good enough though to, to be good enough for me, you know? It's quite stable, as you can tell at high speeds. It's, it's not bad, it actually isn't bad. But there's just so much power, obviously, that you can imagine it's not the most easy to drive vehicle with this much power. And reroll drive. But it's easier to turn with reroll drive because, you know, it just is. Uh, let's go back to the start line. We'll do a drag race against a very fast Beeman G truck. And we'll see which truck is the, the real performance vehicle in Beeman G drive. Alright guys, this is the final race of the day. It is the Maven Mayhem versus the Gavril D-Series, the drag version of that. That thing can do 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 in about 2.9 seconds. Uh, yeah, ours is a bit slower. We can do it in about 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, um, not really 3.3. But yeah, so we have a four-wheel drive. I think this is two-wheel drive because it's, it's an actual drag car, obviously. Um, so we do have more drive wheels. We've got probably more power. Uh, but the AI in Bminji is not really as fast as we are ever. I'm gonna try to line up to the front of the line here and get started, but it is a bit glitchy with this truck. I've tried a couple times. It's a little bit finicky. We'll try this time to get it right. All right, guys, we're lined up now. We gotta get a little bit closer so we can start the drag race. It's very loud, I know. Let's go here a little, little more. Oh yeah, he's faster than me for sure. We kind of butchered that launch. We weren't really prepared. Uh, this truck has a real big difficulty. 0 to 60 3.5, so we had a good 0 to 60 time. So his is 10 8, ours is 11 7. Ours is still great. His is a 10 8, very good. Uh, so yeah, we weren't faster than the Gavril. We actually had a, a, a higher top speed at the end there. Uh, we could try one more time, maybe with re roll drive and, and, and you know, deflated tires, but I think. I think they're, it's faster, their vehicle's faster, it's an actual drag truck, ours is just a, a normal street vehicle, which is absolutely insane, to say the least. Let's just, there you go, see you later, ours is perfectly fine now. As you can tell, it's perfectly fine, and the gavel is not. Look at that, that's a real truck. That's what I thought. Alright guys, we're gonna finish the video here. No, can you, can you please just, thank you. We're finishing the video here. If you guys want to see another truck video, let me know in the comments down below. This thing was a lot of fun. I'll have a download link in the description. I'll also have a link on how to make your own supercharged cars. If you guys want to do your own as well. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to join the Discord linked in the description. Thank you. If you guys have got this far and you guys haven't liked and commented, and, and if you're not already in the Discord, just uh, I don't know why you haven't done those things, to be honest. Uh, thanks guys for watching, of course. And as always, you know guys, I will uh, see you guys next time.